So I guess that's a big picture revolution in terms of these therapies and our approach to psychiatric disorders. And, and Shannon, feel free to jump in at any time here, but I guess this would be maybe a good time to go into, um, well, I guess one, I know we've, we've had this term ethnopharmacology and, and just your research, but I guess what I think people or lawmakers are really wanna know, what happens in the human brain when you know I take that gram of dried mushrooms? What happens in my brain when I take, or my whole entire body for that? Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, what's actually happening? What are the, what are the biological mechanisms that are providing uh, this psych psychiatric revolution? Okay, well, uh, you know, now's my cue to say I'm just a simple ethnobotanist. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a neuroscientist, uh, okay. but I, I've dabbled in neuroscience and I, I understand how it works. There are many people uh, more expert than I am that, that you can talk to, but basically here's the thing. Uh, one of the uh, one of the leading researchers in this field is a is a Brit, Robin Carhart Harris. Uh, I think he's at King's College London, and he's one of the leaders in the development of uh, uh, therapy, primarily involving psilocybin, but developing these therapeutic protocols. And he talks about the default mode network. Mm -hmm. Have you heard that term? Yes. Yeah, the default mode network is where we are right now. <laughs> you know, the default mode network is kind of this program that you create, that your brain creates for yourself, that you might call normal consciousness, you know, just day to day consciousness. And it's made up partly of your immediate experience that you get through your senses, you know, your experience of just being sitting here. Mm -hmm. related to memories and associations in the, you know, that exist and, and also related to future projections. So what the default mode network is, is a kind of model of reality that, that your brain creates for itself that makes it comprehensible. Because if, and, and a lot of what the default mode network does is keep information out. It has as much of a exclusion function as uh, anything else, because if, if everything in your senses and from other sources were allowed in all the time, it would just be a blooming, buzzing confusion, and you'd think you were nuts, you know, and, and you'd be close to right, you know. <laughs> so the default mode network is something that has evolved in us big brain primates so that we can make sense of the world, you know, and it's a model. I sometimes call it the reality hallucination. The point is it's not reality. It's a model of reality and uh, it's convenient, but it can also get it, you know, it can foster habits and, uh, uh, you know, uh, harmful behaviors and, and that sort of thing. It's like a computer. It gets, cludged up sometimes, you know, it doesn't work as smoothly as it should. And, uh, and so what psychedelics do is one way of looking at what they do in the brain is they temporarily disable this default mode network, you know, and that's why they're scary in some ways, because you have to be prepared to trust yourself enough to let go you know, and it's very important that you do that under the right circumstances, right? You know, the psychedelic people always talk about set and setting and also the right kind of therapeutic support, you know, which usually involves, I mean, it doesn't have to be a psychiatrist because these things are also done in traditional uh, contexts where you have a curadero or someone like that who fulfills the same function, but you need somebody who is, experienced who can help support you, not necessarily tell you where you're supposed to be, but kind of tune into where you're at as you have this experience and provide the support that you might need if, if things get a little rough. And, uh, and so this, 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 this disabling of the default mode network amounts to what I was talking about before. You, you get to step out of your reference frame temporarily. 
and you do that by destroying your reference frame <laughs> temporarily. <laughs> but uh, you know, and then you and then you look at things from a different perspective, and you realize, you know, a lot of the, you know, cliche realizations in some ways that people talk about the mystical experience, you know, mm -hmm. we are all one and, you know, mm -hmm. there is no separation between people and, and nature and all that. I mean, these, you know, these are the, the, these are the, the sort of the core of the mystical experience that can lead to a shift in attitude. A, a lot mm -hmm. of it has to do, I think, with realizing that, you know, you're, you're, you're disabling your ego and mm -hmm. you're not, ex you know, you're getting away from that temporarily. And then you still have a self, but you realize how much the self is embedded in, you know, uh, sort of the community of, of all selves. And, and uh, uh, so, you know, you can step away from this reference frame by, by temporarily disabling it. And you can look at your, existential situation, your neuroses, your your problems, your depression, whatever, from a different perspective. And in some ways, you can defuse it, you know, you can see how habit and ingrained behavior uh, sort of sabotage a person, you know, and, uh, and it keeps them from making a fresh start every, every time. The, so these psychedelics are very potent because they they just sweep all of that away temporarily and it's sort of like the naked self without all this armor suddenly gets to confront themselves in the context of you know this mystery of being that that you know we all inhabit it but all the time but we're not you know we're not aware of it all the time and the default mode network is uh it's very resilient, you know, and another way of saying it is, you know, the brain, like any biological system, but the brain operates on feedback loops and equilibrium, you know, it, tend, it tends to maintain equilibrium. So you can demolish this default mode network and, and get the insights from it, but it's, it's going to reconstitute, you know, it's going to fall back together after a few hours and you will, you know, you're not going to die. You're not going to be a, you're not going to go crazy. You know, you may be a change. Right? If 